Also, congratulations this morning to two student athletes from MacArthur High School who won in a national sport that's not even at their school. DJ Mendoza and Naomi Ross are racking up the wins on the racquetball court. In this morning's Kids Who Make San Antonio Great, Marvin Hurst found out more about the cost of victory. The volley between DJ Mendoza and Naomi Ross is rapid. So it seems is their rise in racquetball. The ball is so fast. It's a quick sport and I'm interactive. The 10th graders swing at balls coming at speeds faster than we can lawfully drive on the roadway. My parents give me a lot of freedom, so I've learned to become independent, be able to do things by myself. Mendoza just picked his racket back up during the pandemic. When you hit it straight. Before that, the MacArthur yep. High School student here. was as hard to pin the down as the ball he hits. I played football, basketball, I ran track, I played soccer and tennis. Like as soon as I say it, you gotta go. Now he all uses right. all of those skills as a member of the Alamo City Racquetball Association. Recently, he placed fourth at high school nationals, his first year back in the game. Now, winning, can kind of get to your head a little bit. Win on a good one, okay? They focus more on progress than victories and losses, but measuring sacrifice is unavoidable. Yes, I've sacrificed a lot of time with my family and friends to be able to reach my goal to be the number one player. If it goes like that, still hit it, okay? Each week brings nearly 18 hours of practice and then charity instruction. Some days, they want off the court. But those are always the best days to come, in my opinion. Mr. For Naomi, that's not an option. I decided to come and, well, follow the dream. <laughs> the San Marcos-born student moved back to Mexico with her family, but racquetball opportunities are better in the States. So she now lives with her grandmother. And I decided this is my dream, and I told my parents, well, I want to follow it. So, parents, like, okay, we're going to support you everything we can. She left her parents in Mexico. I call them every day, like, in the night or in the morning. Wow, an amazing serve. She won first place at nationals in her age group. And that's all she needed right there. Victory came from the heart. For sure make me hungry. <laughs> It made her so hungry that she and DJ won the doubles category too. A sacrifice and love for the game. A big world inside of the court. <laughs> Two players who are trying to remain on the ball. Marvin Hurst, Ken's Five. Man, that means we want to go out and play some racquetball. Right, me too. I was saying it's been like 20 years since I used to go to Lifetime yeah. and play there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I told and it's you, a workout. Yeah. I had a horror story with one. I was mm -hmm. playing with my best friend one time when I was right. probably 22, 23. Be right in the edge, of, I mean, with the edge of the racket, right in the mm. mouth. If you play long enough, you're going to get hit by the racket, you're going to get hit by the ball. I was yeah. afraid yeah. to put oh, yeah. my <laughs> tongue on <laughs> my teeth because yeah. I thought he knocked knock on my teeth. <laughs> 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 well, Jeremy, you play? I did uh, back in college a little okay, bit. I yeah. played uh, when I was a freshman. I played with the president of the Glee Club, and he okay. was about oh, cool. where you are. And I hit the thing, and it hit him right in his throat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You guys he didn't obviously. Sing for a couple of weeks. <laughs> so we have a little trauma on this side. Look at that. <laughs> well, congrats to those kids. That was an awesome story. Thanks, Marvin.